Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to get into one of my two week grocery hauls. We have just come back from Sam's Club, y'all. It is hot. Okay. When I mean, when I say hot, I mean go out there, crack an egg on the sidewalk, and if you don't pick it up too fast, it's gonna be a hard scramble. Okay. Um. So I'll show you everything that we got from Sam's real quick, and then I'll show you what we get from Walmart tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get into Sam's. Starting down here on the floor, you guys, we have three cases of the Nestle Pure Life Water. We are almost out completely. As I mentioned, it's hot, you guys. Like when the heat kicks up here, it kicks up. I was outside yesterday, it was supposed to be seven degrees. I swear it felt like 95, 100. It was so hot and it was first thing in the morning. So we got three cases of the water in the Nestle Pure Life. We have a thing of the Canada Dry Ginger Ale that is from my husband his drink of choice up here on the counter you guys we have some pasture raised eggs we have caesar salads two of them those are for me um you guys we have actually been eating at home a lot and so i'm um, stocking up on some things that we cooked through and then we ate through the last couple of weeks so i got some more salads we have some village farm um village farms tomatoes we do a lot with tomato everything has a tomato in it some kind of way i got a bag of honey crisp apples because i've been wanting like fruit fruit that's how i give them a fruit fruit then back here we have some bell peppers and then we have some reynolds wrap for when we grill them we need to bring stuff in from outside on over to the side here we have some oven roasted turkey breasts As i said we've been eating at home Sandwiches come in clutch at lunchtime, so we got some of that. I got some of the King's Hawaiian sweet rolls because we were out. We bought some yesterday because my husband cooked and we didn't know they had gone bad. So we got some more. We have some lemons here. Then we also have some yellow onions right back there. Sorry about that, y'all. I saw one of them big old slow flies when we were bringing the groceries in and I had to get it. <laughs> That's why I kind of paused between saying lemons and the onions. I had to bring all the stuff in myself. Uh, my husband, his office chair broke and he's been using it for like the last six months or so. And it, the seat doesn't stay up. So he has to sit awkward all day and he hurt himself trying to move around yesterday. So I had to bring all this stuff in by myself. <laughs> Probably got to do it again tomorrow that I want to. Anywho, back to the stuff we got. So I have some, these are New York strip steaks. We grilled these the last, um, last time we got them. They were actually really, really good. So we got some more of those. The lemonade, we, ooh, love lemonade from Sam's. This lemonade, oh, so good. Um, and it doesn't bother the reflux that me and my five-year-old deal with, which is a bonus. I got some croissant, sausage, egg, and cheese sandwiches for breakfast, as I mentioned. Now we have been eating at home, like for real, for real. First time we went out and got something was last night because my husband was supposed to be cooking hurt his hip so the food that he took out i couldn't cook it so <laughs> i could but it wouldn't have been the same so we went and got some food because he also couldn't really move around so we would eat at the crib so i got something for breakfast we have some of the downy older different older defense <laughs> and the april fresh scent i used them again the other day and i realized how much more i like them over the light ones so i picked up some more of those we have some size seven pampers cruisers for our one-year-old yes he's in a size seven yes he is one yes he is large large and in charge um <laughs> we have yellow roses for moi um, i like to have fresh flowers and you guys see my vase is empty i like to have fresh flowers in the house all the time so i got some of those my husband picked up some um baguettes i don't know what he plans to do with them i think um there's a holiday coming up from where he's from um his home country and so he's probably going to use it for that which is in the next couple of days because these usually go bad pretty quickly look 12 to the 14th so yeah It'll be bad, but tomorrow, probably use it soon. And I also picked up some blackberries. Y'all lost some blackberries in the store. I accidentally picked the thing up and it opened. So got some blackberries. They did not have the grapes this time. Well, my husband said they had some, but they were small and funny looking, so he didn't want to get those. So we got the blackberries. These. So before I got the sandwiches, they taste, they remind me of like Chick-fil-A. And since we're eating at home, I figured why not just have these pop into the air fryer. So I ended up getting some of their waffle fries. And then I also got some of their chicken bites because the kids prefer like the nugget over the actual sandwiches these days. So I got those two to add. Okay, guys. So I will pick back up tomorrow when we get back from Walmart. Guys, see Sim sweating again. Um, <laughs> we are back from Target and Walmart. Let me show you guys what we got from 
Walmart first because it's a lot more stuff. And then I'll show you what we got from the Target. It's only a couple items. Um, so let's go ahead and get to Walmart first. I just realized I had some in the corners of my mouth. Y'all wasn't even going to tell me, was it? Y'all ain't right. I mean, we're going to go ahead and get into the groceries, though. So first, we have a sweet tea still. Because at some point during the last few days, I told you guys we were eating at home. We went back to the store because we ran out. Then we also have um, the mango punch as well because we went and picked up a few things midway through. But up here on the counter, ta-da. All right, so we have the cheesecake crumbles up here, four of them. I told you guys last time my husband is now eating these a lot, more than me. So I ran out often. So we got some of these cheesecake crumbles. We also got these. I wanted to try these. These are just some like uh, whipped cheesecake slices, like two small slices. So I want to give those a try. And back here we have some thick and fluffy blueberry waffles. My little guy is out of school. And since he is out of school, you guys, he, he eats breakfast every day anyway. But he eats more now because he's at home. More. Okay. So got that. Two things of bread. We have the Texas toast as well as some of the honey wheat bread. I've been eating for sandwiches. Use a couple dishes in my sink. Um, the Texas toast are for our little guy. He still has some left because, as I said, we had to run to the store. We ran out of some things. So I just picked up kind of replenish what was what's been missing over the last few days basically so we got the texas toast and the honey wheat bread this cinnamon bread so you guys know i like the maple brown sugar um uh, toast with peanut butter well yesterday my son came out of nowhere and asked for some well they don't seem to have it in stock right now i don't think it's seasonal but they never seem to have it anymore here so i went ahead and got this it's like a cinnamon inspired bread so it's like a cinnamon bread um, and we're going to do peanut butter because Kai randomly asked for it like yesterday. And I was like, dude, what are you talking about? Toast. And I went and asked his dad. And he said, you mean waffles? And I said, you mean waffles? He said, no, the toast with the peanut butter. So we got this. We're going to try that. We got some sweet Hawaiian sandwich buns. We do have some burgers because I overbought the burgers as well. <laughs> I didn't know if we had some already, so I bought some more. But we got more burgers. We cooked some yesterday and we still have a set of four. So I got some more buns for that. Then we have the yogurts for both boys. You only see one for Mari because my husband I had to go to the store and pick up some for Mari the other day because he ran out. So we have some Sunnyfield organic yogurt, uh, the strawberry banana. Then we also have the strawberry banana for Kai, two of them because he's completely out and has been eating ours. Then up here we have the apple, chicken, and rice. So the reason why you're only seeing eight of these, we also <laughs> ran out of some of Mars. There was one called a Tropical Delight, and then there was one that had like orange, mango, and banana in it, and he ran out of those. So I went back to the store, picked him up some of those, as well as a different one for him to try. And then these were low, so I went ahead and got eight more of these. And someone asked me in the last video why my Walmart limits baby food. I have no idea, but they do limit it here. Um, especially when you're doing like a pickup order. So I went ahead and just got eight because I think we still have about eight because I had to run back to the store like I was saying. So we got those. Then we have blueberry muffins for me because I want something for in the morning as we are eating more at home. I need to have something that I can just grab really quickly. Otherwise, I just won't eat breakfast. Most of the time, I don't eat breakfast anyway. But if I'm going to eat something, I need it to be kind of fast because I got to get back to the kids. So got those. We have some Kraft American Singles. We have some honey butter flaky grains biscuits because I think I'm going to do something for breakfast. Okay, Mark. Something for breakfast on the weekend. Then I also got some shredded Parmesan cheese. We have green beans. Let me pop up here to the front first. So I did get some produce from Walmart today. Because as I was walking through the other day, I saw some really good produce. I thought, mm, should be able to get something decent. Y'all, I feel like I just went and picked all the worst stuff. <laughs> I might have to go back and get some stuff. The reason why I didn't get it that day was because I was walking really fast. We were in a rush. But it's fine. I'll go back and get some stuff if this stuff is um, horrendous. We're going to see. So I have some mint for tea. We've been making mint, uh, tea pretty much every day. We have some mangoes. These look pretty good. The last time I got the mangoes, my husband ate all of them. Then I got a melon trio. These look kind of sketchy. Hopefully they're not bad, but they look sketchy. And then I just got plain watermelon chunks. And then I have a two-pound thing of strawberries. They look a little interesting, but I probably got to slice them up anyway. So I got those. Have a little bunch of bananas, green beans, as I mentioned. I have a red bell pepper and a yellow bell pepper. That's ginger root back there, you guys, but red and yellow peppers. Then we have some sliced mushrooms, baby carrots, some romaine, like a salad. Y'all, I needed it at the end of the day. So we hadn't been eating stuff so that I was, I was like not buying it because we hadn't really been eating it. And as soon as I stopped buying it, I cooked something to need it. 
So I didn't get this last time and I needed it. Then I also got some shredded iceberg lettuce. This is kind of the mixed miscellaneous, some pantry, some freezer section here. I have some strawberry syrup. I like to have that with my pancakes. Some peach syrup for when I make uh, my teas and my drinks. Uh, not alcoholic, you guys. I just like to make like a peach lemonade. I have strawberry in there now, so I'm making strawberry lemonade. And then I like to do a half lemonade, half sweet tea with a little bit of a peach sweetener. So I got that. Got the queso blanco Velveeta block as well as the original Velveeta block. I got some chopped pecans, pecans, pecans. We say pecans where I'm from. Um, so I got some of them for a granola bowl. I do yogurt and like granola and these and some honey and some fruit. It's a really good little bowl. So I got some of those. Two of these ready rices. They are red beans and rices for my husband. Um, when he comes out for lunch, if he only has a few minutes, he can put these in the microwave, eat them really fast. So I got those. Great Kool Aid. Munchkin's favorite for Red Baron brick oven cheese trio pizzas. I might end up having to start buying more because he's asking for this for lunch quite a bit, um, which he did before, but we would stop on the way home sometime and just get stuff. So we weren't going through as many, <laughs> but I got four of those. Then we have some canned goods. I have tomato paste, two mild diced tomatoes with green chilies, some wolf brand chili with beans. I like to uh, add it to stuff. Uh, to kind of make it more hearty. So I got two of those and I didn't realize mine that I had in the pantry had gone bad. So I picked up two of those. Some creamy Jif, peanut butter, the squeeze kind. Cause I don't know, some of the squeezy stuff to make life easier. And then we have some cocoa melon, uh, funnable fruit snacks for the boys. Now we have a tad bit of meat, not too much. Um, I did cook a lot, but we picked up some things from Sam's yesterday. Um, and if we run out of anything, we'll just run back to the store, but I don't want to overbuy right now. So we have some Crawfish tail meat. I don't know if you guys, I grew up on crawfish. They actually call them mud bugs too. When I say I'm country, I'm <laughs> country. Um, so I got these, this is um, crawfish tail meat. I was thinking of making a dip with it or I can make something else like a, maybe an etouffee, something like that. Um, we gonna see. So I got two of these. I didn't even know that they made these and I saw somebody use them, do a video and they actually had these and I'm like, well, shut up and keep on talking. So I got that. Oxtails, y'all. I ain't never in my life made a beef oxtail before in my life. Um, uh, I ain't never made oxtails before, but I like trying to cook different things. I know a lot of things about searing them off and things like that before you cook them. You're supposed to cook low and slow for a really long time. If you know how to cook oxtail, let me know how you cook yours in the comment section. Um, but I want to try it. It's a holiday coming up for my husband where he's from, and so we have like a bunch of. It's supposed to be like a big meal kind of feast. So I wanted to try that. Then we have some chicken thighs. Oh, he's supposed to be going to get some goat. I think goat meat from the African market today. We're going to see. Uh, but I got some <laughs> boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I think I'm going to cook those tonight and make like some barbecue chicken thighs or something like that. Um, so I got those. And then we have a pound of ground beef. Y'all, when, when ground beef gets so expensive? You know what I'm saying? Like ground beef used to be like $3 and some change for a, a small pound of ground beef. That cost $6.93. bro like who who coming up with the prices i need to have a conversation with them because what do you mean six dollars 93 cents for that and the one that i originally saw was like 11 almost 12 bucks i'm like why is it so expensive and i go and look and this is 6.93 now i think last my body was under five dollars and that was two weeks ago we need to have a conversation with who set these prices because my word y'all tripping so this section here, this is um, kind of the miscellaneous stuff we need around the house that we just ran out of that I also pick up from Walmart. We have some Dawn dish soap, antibacterial. That's what I like to clean the kids' cups and bottles with. Then we have two things of the scented trash bags. We have lavender and lemon, some downy April fresh scent Febreze. Y'all know I told you yesterday that Febreze, that downy, the scent beads, the truth with an F. So I got that. Then we have some Lysol laundry sanitizer, my feminine products. Got to have them on standby. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, but I had to have these on standby. I like to keep some stocked. Uh, then we have some detangling spray, some Pepto Bismol chewables. You guys, um, these coat my stomach and my chest better when the reflux kicks up. So I, I went ahead and picked up some of these because I had been eating my son the kids one. You gotta take like twice as much. Um, but my husband and I both were having some issues with like reflux from something we ate last week and that worked quick.
quicker. Like it coats your stomach until the other stuff kicks in, like medicine wise. So I got that. We got some sponges <laughs> and some scouring pads. I feel like he's screaming only when I talk. And then I also got some dryer sheets because the ones that I have in there, um, I'm on my backup box. So I like to have one on standby, as you guys know. Then we have some Germex, two things of it because we keep some in the house and in the car. I have some of these, um, these pans. Listen, I, when I'm cooking something that's going to be like really messy, like barbecue sauce and stuff, I like to have these pans because I don't want to be sitting here scrubbing for 45 minutes to an hour on one pan. And then back there we have our dog's fresh pet home cooked chicken recipe. He still has a bag left because I had to go pick some up as well before the two weeks. Over here, we have some bouncy paper towels. I still have some left, so I just got a six pack of the triple rolls. And then we have a few like liquidy drinky things. We have some brisk iced tea. We have some juicy juice. I have a half gallon of whole milk. And then I got this caramel macchiato creamer because that's the one I'm used to. Um, but I was trying to find something different and I haven't been able to find anything different. The issue is some of the creamers do a number on my stomach. Not kidding. So if you have something or you know something that's similar to this, um, let me know because I've been looking. Yeah, I've been looking. And here are the couple things that I got from Target. It's just the baby's formula. It's the toddler drink from Similac the Pure Bliss. I got two of these. These also went up. They were 28. They're almost 30. They're $29.99 now. Um, and so I got two of those because everything else I looked for in Target, they didn't have. I've been looking for like the tab of the brown popcorn and the pickles and everything that she makes of the pickled okra and stuff can't find any of it in my local target i have not been able to find it since she brought it out the last time so i don't know if they have it online if they do i might have to order it from there but this is what i got from target all right you guys i broke out to the glisten again it's so hot okay so that's everything that i got for our next two weeks i'm gonna have to go and pick up some things i'm kind of gauging how the summer goes um because the meals and the appetites and the snacking is different in the summer. Um, and so I might have to up it. I might have to change and tweak some things for the next go around. So we're just kind of going to see this time because we already know we went through some stuff last time. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like, please share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye, guys.